Warning, this video is intended for a mature audience. You understand? Viewer discretion is advised. Yay! <laughs> All right, this is Billy Bob Tanley here, people, and this is a request from Hannibal Lecter, and it was uploaded by Channel Awesome, and the latest video is Hannibal, Nostalgia Critic. Fuck yeah, let's check it out. Yay. Yeah, here we go, man. Hannibal, I know that movie. I've seen it a few times. Oh, yeah, Nostalgia Wing. 1991, Silence of the Lambs is released in theaters. It shocks audiences and delights critics, <laughs> winning several Academy Chicago. Awards, including Best Picture, Best Actress, Damn. and Best Actor for Anthony He's Hopkins' chilling portrayal face. as a new form of movie monster, Hannibal the Cannibal. Ten years Hannibal later, a sequel cannibal. is released. He this looks time like he with the director of Alien apartment. attached. It Shit. hyped up audiences, excited horror fans, and afterwards got people asking, You okay, release God? You okay? Wait, what? So how can a sequel so the set for success one, turn that's, that's out an unscrubbed Hannibal. hustling rube with no taste? Okay. Perhaps you can help us solve oh, here we go an again. unsolved enigma. I'm Nostalgia Unsolved Stout, enigma? And welcome to Nostalgia Ween. Okay, that's not really necessary though. What's that all say? Okay, never mind. Reviewed. Yeah, I've seen Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal, and that third one a little bit the dragon whatever it's called it wasn't as good though yeah channel Watson, nostalgia one starring Doug Walker Malcolm Murray and Tamara Chambers okay I'm ready now man this is too long of an intro not necessary <sighs> okay Thank you so much for allowing me into your asylum. Elba? Well, I only hold on to the crazies. I think it'd still be safe. He's got a gun. Is he faring any better? Fuck? He's a complicated man, lost in his own blade. World, but he carries a lot of. Who is this? An agent from uh, the Matrix? Bring him back to us. You are his taste, so to speak. <laughs> his taste. Oh well, I'll see what I can do. Hmm. Where's the nostalgia door, critic the at? The very last cell. Stay to the right. Oh, it's a good thing you said that, because I was going to hug the wall with all the crazy people on it. You have no idea huh? how many people make that mistake. Okay. Hollywood chart. Oh, what? This should have been a hit. <laughs> this is not necessary, man. Shot. Get to the fucking review. It's more simple that way. YouTube fine, represents... Fine, fine, fine. Everything's fine. We got everything under control. Everything's fine. Is this supposed to be a mental asylum? Again. Good luck trying to figure that one out. <laughs> Ronnie McDonald, is that you? What? What did I say, Denise? I couldn't. There he is. Good morning. Hey, critic. Hey, why I was wondering if you knew. I wondering if I knew why Silence of the Lands was such a masterpiece and its equal Hannibal such a turd. Okay. I didn't know Hannibal was supposed to be such a tall curd. I didn't hear people nobody else say that. Seen as too but I guess it was. Too dangerous. Well, you did make fun of I barely Black remember it, though. What? Naomi Scott is a treasure. An okay singer, though. Oh, oh my god. god. How did you say that? that? Oh, that she was a treasure. She was, she was perfect. Um, we're getting off the Let's talk about that. I'm ready for the review. Okay. Hannibal. Grossing of the Thomas Harris movie series, Hannibal had a lot of hype when it first came out. It was it everywhere. People were psyched to see their favorite elegant cannibal return to the big screen. Yeah, I, I remember this movie more than the though, first one. No, actually, than I remember stuff, both. Never mind. With critics not giving it the best reviews and a lot of people <laughs> yes, acknowledging God. something just felt off about it. But it was hard to point out what it was. It seemed to have the same chills, the same gore, the same weirdness that drew so many people yeah, to the some weird shit in So this why one. was this strangeness not as well accepted as the previous strangeness? I don't know. Yeah, you I never tell really me? figured that out either. And you want to see if I can help you solve the mystery. If it gives you something to do. You see, Maybe because of, it wasn't the same actress. So I ate his I know, that's probably one of them. Two. That's gonna be a thing. Totally is, look it up. With some fava beans. And whatever wine do you, you eat recommended fava in that beans? movie, the Goodyear that nobody saw, and I didn't see either, because you know it's the Goodyear. Who the hell saw the Goodyear? Don't fucking do that around me, man. That makes no clear. Stop it. You're gonna piss Billy Bob off. What the fuck? 
Okay. Your time, man. There's a lot of movie to cover. Good point. This is happening. Yeah, why are you wasting so much time? The credits play as we see Nurse Barney from the first film talking with a dying Spock. Oh, I mean one of Lecter's victims named Mason. Played by Gary Oldman. Oh my god, it's so fucked baby up. Grown up. It's all Clarice Starling and Hannibal Lecter became. Friends. I already know what happened, though. I guess we're supposed to fear slash feel sorry for him, but his voice is so goofy, he keeps coming across as a Jim Carrey character. He's a villain. When the fox hears the rabbit scream, he comes a running. Five o'clock, solve world hunger. <laughs> Hell. No. Well, what well, a comparison. Most conspicuous features. I'll James Bond them villain. Allow them to envy me. Let's say it with a respect it deserves. <laughs> it's not a dress, it's a kilt. We cut to a magic guy, which doesn't serve the plot at all, but this is when Ridley Scott stopped oh. being an artist and turned into an artiste. We see what? Clarice Starling, played this time by Julianne Moore, because Jodie Foster basically said this movie was stupid. Fair, but you did direct this. Come on. Who's getting ready to take on a drug? She's still hot though. This Excuse me. Is. I know I'm her. Officer Bolton, I'm in charge here. I'm here because I know of Elder Drumgo. I'm here for the drugs and the weapons. Oh, fuck. You're here because our mayor wants to appear tough on drugs. Now I'm here Not to give you that drugs. scene where the spunky new cop takes control from the stubborn old cop. I expect this to go smoothly. You got a smart mouth, lady. This movie never He's goes smoothly. He's upset. Name me one other movie where that happened. Wow, we are behind on the this. Fugitive Judge Dredd. Well, I remember Judge Dredd. One of the criminals is holding a baby, and she orders them to back down. But Officer Stubby Pants goes what? ahead anyway, and there's a big shootout. Oh, shoot. The lady with the baby she shoots looks like with Uzi, but she manages to take her down without hitting the kid. From Damn, the first even after comment, being shot, she still nailed her. Holy smoke, she should get a medal, man. The woman had a baby in her arms. Oh, this creepy guy. To find good judgment? And I regret it. I resent myself for it. To quote Fargo. I don't huh? know where. Yeah, her name is disgraced all over the papers. Even on the front page, it says she shot a woman holding a baby. And what? an Uzi. With she bullets shot flying her. Out. Half of them That's maybe a bad guy. Missing something? I don't I mean, know. I know it's not protocol and it's technically wrong, but from a writing standpoint, wouldn't it make sense to disgrace Clarice over a bigger mistake? I don't like, know. Like, maybe the lady was unarmed or Clarice said go ahead with the raid instead of the other guy. Something everyone would be like, holy Damn, smokes, I can't believe she right now. did that. Here, she fires in self-defense with bullets already hitting her, and she nails she the shooter, saving the baby. Yeah, she didn't Honestly, even aim for the baby. I feel like if most people heard baby the person would shoot at you, you gotta shoot back. Unharmed, this wouldn't be a front-page smear huh. piece. Unless I'm missing something, which I totally could be. I I'm feel missing like a lot right now. be like, holy shit, Clarice is RoboCop. No, I mean, Robocop, this is yeah, that's a good movie. In this totally realistic movie where the action scenes aren't cliched and there's fruit carts and Shit. people eat other people's. Yeah, we'll get to that. Remember Mason Virgin? Lecter's fourth victim, the only one that survived. She's demoted to dropping by the He didn't learn his as he says he has new information about finding Lecter. You know, oh, I fuck. thank God for what happened. It was my salvation. Oh. I always wow, wanted to look like, like a the Crypt Keeper microwaved into a gelfling. <laughs> what the fuck? That last we picture is... Lecter got Mason I've seen that somewhere. Off his ass ...and convinced him to cut off his own face and feed it to the dogs. Oh yeah. <laughs> trick. I remember. Isn't it funny? And he you did it. look at my face, but you shied when I said the name of God. Now let's never what? bring this up in the movie again. What faith even are you? Eh, who cares? I don't Clarice even looks over wow. old footage of Lecter attacking a nurse. It's actually one he of the few chilling day, moments man. in the movie. That is until this silliness. <laughs> yeah, that's a dog? lion sound effect you heard there. You see, we can't put together that he's a predator, so that helps us dumb moviegoers put the pieces together. People have ruined that word. just put him in the MGM logo? Now I can't talk about that movie called Predator without somebody saying, you know. <laughs> Interviews Barney, who feels he might still have the session tapes that were recorded of her and Hannibal talking, possibly helping her figure out where he is. These are valuable. By the they way, are. here you got a soft spot for lambs. Oh no, you're gonna kill the lambs! Oh, boo -hoo -hoo -hoo. What Pansy. lambs? There's no lambs in this she one. Over the pictures or from the, the first one. film, because what psycho photographer would snap shots like these? As we see, Hannibal, played by Anthony Hopkins, is no. in Florence trying to get a job at an art museum. Oh, yeah, you can totally smoke around the ancient relics. We Italians care so is... little about preserving Stop art. Stop smoking. Are the signores personal effects of steel to the palazzo? Mm -hmm. This is Inspector Pazzi, played by Giancarlo Giannini, who's oh. inspecting the disappearance of his predecessor. Now in the book, Lecter got plastic surgery, so no one would recognize him. 
Thankfully, in the movie, Florence is just full of idiots. You were on the Why, monster oh case, I'm sure. You think you would have just yes, scoured right. This is much less grand a case, I would think. So while the big draw in this movie is obviously supposed to be Hannibal and Clarice, honestly, these two kind of had better chemistry. I but guess they do. Push his buttons while playing I already know where this goes, wonderfully though. ...with the inspector's shaky nerves and grouchy demeanor. Both try, try to play each other Professor and always X. give the impression they know far less than they really do. Your ancestor was hanged. Writhing and kicking alongside the Archbishop. Were you unfairly dismissed oh, shit. from the Grand the Case, or did you deserve it? Is that the They're just showing different yes. random scenes of this. It. Of course. I what know it's gonna sound strange, but if you replace Clarice's drama and Eight Drop Soup Muppet's subplot with <laughs> only these two, Muppet the movie Muppet probably would have been more interesting. But he still has the huts for Clarice, as he sends her a letter saying he misses the good old days. The good old days. What's up? <laughs> I have followed with enthusiasm the course of your disgrace and public shaming. My own never bothered me. She's also so wrapped up in his words, she's missing that her lab is on fire. Yeah, there's fire. I told fire. you not to light the gerbil sacrifice yet. No! Sorry, Bray! She notices the, the water has a certain fragrance, so she takes it to an expert to see if it can be narrowed down. Yep, he definitely What the hell you doing here, Hector? You'd almost certainly find it somewhere in Paris. Where's your nephew at? Oh. What the fuck? Or your I'm whatever. sorry, I can't understand you unless you use a bell. The inspector does some research <laughs> yeah. and finds Lecter on the FBI's he 10 most wanted that bill. list. Well, we know this was shot before oh, September. Boy. He also discovers there's a massive reward from Humpty Dumpty to bring him in alive. Meanwhile, Ray Liotta plays a pervy assistant DA who's interested in getting Lecter and looking at post-covered boobies. <laughs> if you work with me, then your so-called career here might improve. All I have to do is draw a line through your name rather than under it. You'll get out of fine. I don't know. Why does this feel forced? I mean, the first movie had hints that being a woman in the FBI was rough, but this feels... Like it's bashing you over the head with it? In the original, oh, it was oh subtle. You could watch it and almost not even notice it. There's a sense that people don't take her seriously, but it's never flat out said. Uh, Here, sure. it's flat out said, because everything is so over the top. I told you Over to go home to your wife. That was wrong. This town is full of corn pone country pussy. He's from the mafia. That's what made the original more scary. Even though it discussed weird things, it did so in hey, a realistic way. A way that showed you the ugliness of the world rather than advertising. This is that movie Buffalo Bill was It's the difference Bill between a in. friend telling you about a good car and a salesman telling Put you about a good car. Put the lotion on its skin. You feel the manipulation and it's hugely distracting. But what quid pro say? quo, oh, Hypa. No. Quid pro quo. Okay, what do you want? What do you think I want? I, don't know. I want to Why see the rest of the review. Know. This yeah, ain't necessary. Would you like it if I told you? Just be... You don't know what quid pro quo means. Of course I do. A British sport. Oh, great. I just want to look smart! Okay. The inspector finds out he can get an advance on Lecter's reward if he supplies a fingerprint. So he drops by Lecter's home. You should have done that, man. You fucked up. I'm in one of these suitcases. Figure out which one. He took a picture of him. I enjoy taking random pictures for no reason. In 15 years, that's going to be a big thing. Instagram. You are a patsy of the Patsy family, I think. Oh, I'm going to ride that symbolic horse to the races. He oh, says yeah, his heater I, I is broken, so he puts you. on some gloves. While leaving his bare feet completely them. out. People don't always tell you what they're thinking. They just see to what you don't. I will not. No. Nope. Advance. I would have my gun Why? with me. Again, something about this doesn't feel right. A scene like this in the first one was so creepy, but here, it's just not. Well, that's because the first one knew how to shoot Lecter. This guy Never was in his mid-fifties. Not exactly the scariest of threats, but the film knew to keep the lighting no. from above. Rarely have him next to anyone else, so you can't get an idea of how big he is. How many years later they make have him the in dark, one. confining environments, so you're always aware you're dealing with Holy a Holy shit. You see Here that? Here you can see he's wow. a pudgy little old man in his sixties. <laughs> because he's shot like everyone else. Once in a while you'll get a creepy shot, but it's often ruined by a little thing like, oh, I don't know, having him in his PJs barefoot? Yeah, that looks stupid. And same lines like this doesn't help. stupid as shit, and retarded. Okie dokie. Duh! <sighs> the horrifying call of the cartoon plumber! Okie dokie. The inspector hires Mario. a thief to track down Lecter to get a thumbprint on a bracelet. My name is Ridley Scott and I will have my cameo in this film oh. or my next. Sorry, my coat is How's very loud when pretentious directors are filming it. He knows he's being followed. 
to quote sideways. Are you chewing gum? Yeah, what? another word of advice. Hannibal's not very scary when he looks like a cow munching grass. Mm, well, so I said, yes. fava beans, He's and the nice yes. tea and tea. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's all, y'all creepier when I don't have bubble issues. <sighs> Lecter stabs the guy, and he's so really he, almost happy know? about it. Tried to hit me in the balls, but he missed. He tried it's funny balls. if you think about it. I mean, I'm not thinking about it. I'm dying in agonizing pain, but you can think about it. <laughs> Let me help you. No, I didn't know don't. he's uh, super intelligent, like he detects everything. You're a weird guy, and I hope to forget you quickly. You know, things weren't goofy enough. This shit up, but what the hell? What is going on here? And what the hell? <laughs> More scenes need to end with a goblin shitting. No, 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 stop it. Always taking up the ass by something. The inspector sees Hannibal at the opera and introduces him to his wife. This is Dr. Feld. Come on. That's weird, he bit my hand. Meanwhile, and, and Chloe Monty continues did. her search for Hannibal because there's not enough of her just staring at shit in her office when she finally sees him on a security camera. She knows it's Stupid tail. frame right away! She calls Potsy's department where she got the footage. FBI, I'm not here. Potsy. I'm not here. You're trying to catch him yourself, aren't you? He killed three policemen. He will kill you too. And he does. Or does he? He'll be fine. Yeah, he'll be fine. You know, he the knows. style is less American Silence of the Lands and more Italian The Crow. Which wouldn't be too bad if it had more interesting stuff to say. Oh, shit. The betrayal of the Emperor's trust. He died by hanging. It includes the death by hanging of Judas. Make Pieta Lavinia now in hell. Avarice. He's getting a history lesson here. Make my own home be my gallow. Yeah, the metaphors in this movie is, for lack of a better word, stupid. In the original, the lambs reflected Clarice's need for purpose, to save what's already been destined to be slaughtered. The lambs here, don't even Schmuck show themselves. obviously gonna die, is gonna die! Inferno Pieta Lavinia's body hangs from a bleeding tree. Observe this well, piece called the blatant symbolism. Notice the blatant symbolism. Speak yeah, I don't know, my mark Google I sibilance, as though he is hanging still. I'm talking about you, Potsy. You are gonna die. He, he, you think you would know that? Thought to eating your wife. Oh, you know, shit. nobody does flower or candies anymore. <laughs> he ties him up How and invites him to he... hang around, so to speak. This guy's a dumbass. Here we go. Sorry, tried to turn that into a thing. I really think it's going to be the next Jar Jar How Wood. But Clarice calls the inspector and Hannibal answers. Is this Clarice? Oh, Hi, wait. Hello, Clarice. Do you oh, know how many okay. people are going to think this line is from the first film? Is he dead? Unfortunately, you've caught me at an awkward moment. Making the movie Hannibal. Yeah. He hangs up and drags the inspector to the window. Not sure how nobody how? notices that. Yeah, the European. Why risk a faux pas? And he cuts him up and throwing him over the balcony. Oh shit, my my son. He's hanging. Now, nah, why y'all laughing? Point at horrific things and laugh to her. D Day. What the fuck? Emotionally crippled you? children. Goldfinch's box office. Uh, what? Wait, wait, wait. I'm confused. This is the middle of the movie, and there's been very little interaction between Hannibal and Clarice. And the guy he's had the most interaction with at is the dead. End? Maybe it's like Heat, where even though they barely talk to each other, I there's think a connection I've seen a little for bit how much they watch one another. Except he doesn't watch her. He barely even mentions her the more I think about it. He sent one letter, and well, that's it. I can see place. why him and the inspector had more chemistry, because they're in a situation where they can have chemistry. Oh, but now we get to movie them. number two. Number two? Yes, the second half has nothing to do with Florence. The inspector is never brought up again. Honestly, you could cut almost everything from Italy, and it wouldn't impact the story at Italy, all. Italy, yeah. Then why did we mean. watch it? Because because art, fancy clothes, poetic performers, farting demons, this Stop is the new the deep demons, Ridley sky man. we've all had to get accustomed to. My god, did we really think that this guy was going to bring dignity back to Alien? Well, he did so well with Robin Hood. So we see right. Mason wearing Hannibal's mask. Why? Your king guessing is as good as mine. Oh, he plans okay. to continue Clarice's downward weird. career by framing her, making it look like she kept a letter from Hannibal, supposedly sent to her. I don't understand why she didn't turn this over. Lecter didn't write, or he didn't write it. He still looks like I the villain. Oh. <laughs> this guy's an idiot. <laughs> Remember when we weren't all cartoons? <laughs> yeah, in this movie they are. She's put on administrative leave as Hannibal breaks into the assistant DA's home. He broke in? Hello. Hello, dog. I was giving very serious thought to eating your wife. 
I'm going to leave my <laughs> no, prints Mario. everywhere here. No, we don't, Let me go steal some stuff where I'll also leave my prints everywhere. Let me go right to an FBI agent's home where I'll also leave... Oh, you know the drill oh, by now. Shit. I used to be a criminal mastermind. Creepy as fuck. Look at nope. this. He's right in her home. This should be terrifying. I know, and but how come she don't have no security system? And she's asleep. Oh, there, mom. So what creep factor or insight are we supposed to get out of this? Even when they you do can't hear him walking talk, around the floor on the sweep. Hunt. I like to watch you as we speak with your eyes open. It pleases me. You have very shapely feet. <laughs> what the <God. laughs> They're weak and unruly and believe in nothing. <sighs> oh, fuck. Weirdo. Dr. Lecter? It keeps constantly cutting as if the suspense should be where Lecter is. But it shows where he is and what he looks like. And only from the 90s, a hard to catch this guy. Cool this morning and then stopped Why halfway so because he was too tired. You're not even listening that close because the camera is always really? moving and always cutting so he away. Can just as if the style of movement is masking that there's very little substance or intrigue. In the original, it was just their faces, nowhere to hide. No artsy images to put them against Ooh. to distract you. It was just two interesting people well, exposing their deepest Well, the second one can't be anything like the first, man. When you think He's Hannibal not locked Lecter, up. criminal mastermind, stalking Here he Clary is. Starling, do you really think dumpy guy in a t-shirt and baseball hat gifting her shoes? That's not a mastermind. That's internet fanboying 101. The what? Mason's men find Lecter and knock him out as Clary Oh, yeah, I remember this. They do catch him, but Oh, you're it gets lucky you weren't up, holding a baby. He's brought to Mason, who has plans for the captured <sighs> Cape Crusader. I mean, captured Lecter. I guess you wish now you, you fed the rest of me to the dogs. I'm sorry, who are you? <laughs> you don't know. And fate does Mason have planned for Lecter? Can he get plastic A surgery or something? A trap involving giant killer pigs. Oh my god. Because to be fair, sharks with friggin' laser beams on their heads just <laughs> weren't in season. <laughs> You know what? That's one animal I don't give a shit How about. Will Hannibal hogs. get out of this one? Deadly will he be able to survive the silence of the hams, or will uh. he become the other white meat? Tune in next week. Hell same lamb no. time, same lamb channel. Really? Clary's burst in to save him while Mason's henchmen try to she stop. She screwed it up. She caused more people to die. She even shot him. If you hand me the knife. Yeah, give the cannibal serial killer the knife. Now this was fire. a stupid scene. She gets shot, but Hannibal escapes and convinces Mason's assistant Cordell to toss him in. Because <sighs> he bossed him around in two brief scenes. You probably don't even remember seeing them. I'm sure the mime symbolically years, represented maybe. his pain and you just weren't artsy enough to see it. Enough of that. Hey, Cordell, why didn't you push him in? You can always say it was me. <laughs> yeah, that's legit funny. <laughs> Damn, I do remember that Lecter scene. carries Clarice to the assistant DA's lake house where the assistant him. DA shows up. That's lucky. Good, you brought the wine. Well, I oh, was going to bring my select honey, but... He's a ninja! Oh, That's how he's able to do this, sneak up on gown, people. Which I'm not sure what's funnier to imagine, Hannibal buying that dress or getting it on her while she's passed out. That Come means he stripped her down and... Size six, my ass. Oh, oh. As he notices, she's using the phone to call the police and he checks his watch. Uh -oh. Yes, I have time to win her over in ten minutes. Or whatever nonsensical bullshit I have planned for tonight. This movie, man, is Clarice kinda is wacky. super drugged and Whoa. sees the assistant DA is drugged too. Leading to a yeah, super cool, up, a super bloody, super over-the-top scene. Though. Nope, you can't show it on YouTube unless you want to be demonetized. <laughs> oh, come on! Nope, anything too adult uh. is unsuitable for all advertisers. By the way, that reminds me, we're starting a new rule. See anything what I mean, how YouTube has no ruined so ads. many Wait, uh, so channels and shit? To make money, you have to create kid-friendly videos that aren't for kids at all. You're welcome! I nostalgia critic don't well, movie great. PG, How do we get across but... what happens? It's like the most famous scene in the movie. I know. What do you do? I have an idea. Mmm, <gasps> brain food. You want no, some more assistant it, it DA? Work. You know what they say. You are what you eat. It's a gross scene anyway, though. He, just, he cuts his head open and there's a plastic that comes off and brain. That's all we can get away with for now. Yeah, it's uh. a pretty silly scene, but I give credit. It does stand out in an otherwise pretty dull flick. Afterwards, Clarice tries to attack Lecter in the kitchen, but he restrains He's her just via invincible. fridge ponytail cuff as he offers what himself to her, but she refuses. Would you ever say to me, stop? If you loved me, you'd stop. <sighs> A thousand years. I guess I should be interested, but honestly, I'm just wondering if the Vegetarian Times book was intentional or not. It would be the what? first time in this movie I couldn't tell if a scene was meant to get a laugh. 
She handcuffs herself to Lecter, and he threatens to cut off the fat, so to speak. Oh, oh show you after what he does. Below the wrist. I just got done shooting Titus, why both cook people and lose a hand. I'm gonna have the weirdest tight casting. This is really gonna hurt. Oh, shit. So Hannibal cuts off his own hand to escape, but they don't show it that way. They he try to, to do this fake off. out like he cut her hand off and she screams. But after yeah, why did she you scream? find out, that of course begs the question, why the hell did she scream then? That's Not exactly what I said. man who says he feels the same pain as his pregnant wife. Looks pretty stupid, huh? Oh, you have morning sickness? You had balls! So the police arrive and notify all the airports to keep a lookout for a world-famous cannibal with one hand or he gets on a plane with no problem. Again, before He's September. What's that? Can I have some? You're a very unusual boy, aren't you? Well, I did get in trouble for sauteing my little sister. What the fuck? Feeds him a bit of Ray Liotta's brain. Oh, that must be why he did that. That's messed up. Uh... And the movie ends <laughs> on that weak ass note. Holy shit. Now, it should shit, be pointed man. out that in the book, Hannibal tries to drug and brainwash Clarice. Whether or not it really worked, who knows. But three years later, they're going on dinner dates to the opera in South America. Wait, wait, what? This is what? also a really stupid ending, but like the brain scene, you that. do at least remember it. The ending was changed yeah, I remember because Jodie Foster said she didn't like it and wouldn't shoot the film if it was kept that way. So the ending was changed, but Foster still what ended up fuck? not doing it and instead filmed this record-breaking blockbuster. Yes, that Anna is a and good the reason King? you haven't heard of it. I bring I this know, up I because everything it. that happens to Clarice in the movie is building up to this original It's ending. just Hannibal drugs. Disgrace, losing all credibility, no longer being able to help or save people. It was amounting to her Why having are you nothing worth fighting for, Go to cry? and thus putting up little fight against Lecter. But since she that ending didn't happen, arts. most of those scenes are pointless now. Just like a lot of the Florence scenes, the Mason scenes, Porky's Revenge, nothing <laughs> new is learned, changed, Porky or Pig evolved about these characters. And bizarrely, <sighs> when nothing of interest is presented, it doesn't present a very interesting movie. It's, a lot it of is what it is, man. I just remember back in the time I didn't think how Harris terrible it was. Series. Manhunter, Red Dragon, The Show Red Hannibal. Dragon, that so was it. So it's clear it. a lot can be done with these characters. Here, though, it's a pointless, unfocused, unnecessary cash-in that doesn't know if it wants to be funny or serious it, it and fails more at both. Bo or know, the original scary leaves funny, chills maybe? and nightmares in people's minds due to its patience like, what, and discipline. Comic book villains this one were in is mostly ship? forgettable due to it surprisingly going over the top without giving us any grounded reality to care about. He's a model now, doing this. a brain-eating scene and a few moments in Florence, it's a surprisingly boring whatever. mess. There's still much that can be explored with these characters, but it's a journey that's not going to be taken here. I didn't take it that seriously. So, Hyper, now, now you know how a sequel that can have so much built up can deliver so little. Are you satisfied with the answers you've been seeking? No. Not really. Because the truth is far more disturbing You're than you You're not Hannibal. You no, because that's like not why him. I'm here. I just came like to pick him. up my husband. Oh, oh, that Benny got me good. The so fuck? Simple. Mm, hey, Blood Spike. I think those tranquilizer darts are finally wearing Not off. Not well, It looks like you're awake enough to go. Yeah, you win this round, but next time you're gonna wake up in my torture chamber. <laughs> Holy Wait, shit. Wait, so I'm not locked in here because of my dangerous mind? No, I locked you up in here because that David S. Pumpkin shit is old. Yeah, seriously, that Pumpkin was even lame when it was popular. I was wearing this before him! Yeah, whatever. Come on, Bonefist, let's go home. Wait, how'd you get out of your cell? There's no glass there, critic. Check it out. What? Really, man? What the fuck's going on? Oh, I see. You're using a deceptive mind game to make me perceive what wasn't there. No, you just go back to your room. Dumbass. Yeah, pretty much. Well, how do you keep everyone else in their cells? Wait, Is that no a place? dungeon? I gotta get back to work! You just shot him? It's all good, dog. Uh, good, good. It's all good. good. <sighs> well, maybe there's something to be said about combining extremes with subtlety. I'm I don't know, man. This and is confusing me. Hopefully next me. week we'll review something not quite so in your face. Me, 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 Nasty motherfucker. So there you go, everyone. If y'all want to watch the original video, the link is in the description. Go check it out and shit. I'm getting the fuck out here, so yeah, yeah. My name is Billy Bob Tenley, and I approve this message.